Hello my friends, hope you had a wonderful weekend. It's me again, Miss Susanna. After we learned last week about Africa, this week we're gonna learn about the continent of Europe. And one of the most famous countries in Europe is Italy. Can you tell me what are the Italy flag colors? Green, white, red, thank you very much. Okay. What we're going to learn about Italy, we will learn how to make Tower of Pisa, which is one of the most famous landmarks in Italy. What we're going to need for today's activity, paper cups and paper plate, apples and Play-Doh. If you don't have Play-Doh, this is a homemade Play-Doh. I can share the recipe with you. Okay. Let's first learn a few facts about the Tower of Pisa, which the Italian people, they call it Torre Pendente de Pisa. Why it's going only on one side? When they were building the foundation of the Tower of Pisa, they built it on a subsoil which was very soft and couldn't hold the tower weight. That's why it was going to only one side. How long time it took from them to build it? It took from them 200 years to be done. And it has seven bills. These seven bills represent seven notes of the musical scale. These are few facts about the Tower of Pisa. Now let's learn how to make the Tower of Pisa. First, let's start with the plates and the cups. Here I draw some windows. I, I have different uh, ones and you can choose the easiest for you. But I just wanted to give you different choices. So we will start to put the plate first. Then we're gonna put the cup upside down. Again, the plate. And we will put the second cup on the side. And this is really good for your fine motor skills, for your gross motor skills, for your concentrating. So now we're gonna put again plate. And we will use the cup. You should be very patient. The last plate. And the last cup. Hopefully it will not fall down, but if it will, that's totally fine. You can just do it again. So this we here we have the first tower of Pisa. Now we can move it slowly, slowly. And let's do the second activity, which is with the apples. For the apples, we will take first Play-Doh. We will put it first, then we're gonna stick our apple, we're gonna take one more play-doh, stick one more apple. It's not easy, but I'm sure you can do it. Take one more play-doh, and of course, of course you always can ask mommy and daddy for help and here we have our apple tower and you can just put play-doh on the side so we can just help the apples to not fall down like this and this is our second tower now we have one more fun activity which is with the cups let's do it we will take the cups careful with our apples again i will tell you if it will fall down that's totally fine we can just do it again and again and over and over now let's take our cups for the cups first here what i did let's just put these two uh, apples down what i did I just put numbers on these cups from 1 to 10. 
So I will take the cup. This is number one. Number two, I will put it in the opposite way, in the inverted way. We will take number three and number four in the opposite way. And here we have number five. Should be careful. And this is number six. And this is number six. And we can keep on doing it till we finish number ten. This was our activities for today. And hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like it. These are our towers with the cups, with the paper cups and the paper plates and with the apple. I can't wait to see yours and see you soon. Love you. Bye.